My name is uh, Erling Svensson. I'm the managing director for uh, 3D Matte Print in Elmert, Sweden. At uh, 3D Matte Print, we are running a service center for the Nordic countries, and we are one of the few companies running a modern metal printer at this moment. We invested in this technology because this is a new possibility to manufacture metal parts that has not been possible earlier. We have a 3D systems printer, a ProX 300, that performs really great. We have made comparisons with a lot of other machines and what's special with this machine is the surface smoothness and also the geometry accuracy. We are focusing on tool steel called merging steel and also a stainless steel 17.4 pH. About 90% of what we print the customers can use as is. They don't need to do any extra milling or grinding. We make the post-processing in-house, including hardening if needed. The tool we are looking at today is an injection mold. The material is uh, merging steel, uh, 1.2709. The hardness of the material in printed condition is around 37 Rockwell C. And we can easily harden it up to 55, 57 uh, Rockwell C. The manufacturing time of these two halves is about 24 hours each. My name is Thomas Helmetschläger and I'm the owner and CEO of Plast System in Andersborg. We are an injecting molding company that works in relatively short and medium term production. Our customers are mainly in the medical equipment, furniture and lighting industry. In this project we work together with one of our main customers, 3 d Met and PLM. Our role was to provide a construction of the tool in solid work and we also completed the whole tool in our own tool shop and we modeled the final parts. Our customers are talking about shortening lead times and are quite often working with short production series and this is a great way to do that. It's quite amazing, in this project we received the, the inserts less than a week after we ordered the products. We have tried several different materials in the tools. Now we are producing in polypropylene and polypropylene with glass fiber. As it is now, we have produced more than 10,000 parts. And in soft materials, we are sure that we will be able to produce many, many more. Since we haven't got very many new tool makers, we also need to adapt new technologies to continue producing molds in Sweden. I think that 3D printing will be a very important thing for uh, producing Swedish molds in the future. <laughs>